Everybody, it's Victor. It's time to the run here of the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Tuesday, Mosh Pit. We did have another video across 3,000 likes over the weekend from the weekend video. So thank you very much for making that possible. Now only 15 away from the Glitch Chaos run, which of course, if you missed what that is, is basically going to be Glitch Crown plus Chaos plus Curse the Blind on the YouTube save file, which is going to be an absolute nightmare. But it's going to be a lot of fun as well. I cannot wait for that to unfold. Un unfurl, unveil, un unfold. I think unfold. Here's your meme of the day here. Also, picture of the day brought to you by Kovac. Title of the thread was our new Mosh Pit bro watching the newest episode. This was from a few days ago. And uh, they also said he's a three-month-year-old kitten. A three-month-old kitten need to teach the boy what's good from a young age on. Thank you very much, Kovac. One of the most adorable, I think, uh, photo submissions we've had in quite a while. So, and shout out to your kitten. We need to know the name, though, of the kitten. We don't know yet. Hop on in and get rocking and rolling here on a Thursday. Thursday? Tuesday. Oh, my goodness. That is a cricket's body or cricket's head star. Dude, my brain is all over the place today. Two Romeo Whiskey 2, one Foxtrot Lima 9. I mean, this is like, you know, this is like kind of early on in the day today from waking up. So, like, my brain's kind of like, do we, do we, do we start now or can we, like, wait a few more minutes? I hate the rotating rotating spinner turrets here so yeah obviously cricket's head is going to start us off with amazing damage also a damage multiplier it's very good that our uh, our tears rate is pretty good to start with almost almost uh as good as a uh, as a base well base starter set of uh of tears raid from like you know one of the regular non-eden characters we're also starting off with notched axe which will allow us to essentially not have to use bombs to get into like secret rooms or to go into uh you know, uh, super secret rooms or destroy tinted rocks. So yeah, it, it, it kind of, it liberates you in a way from having to worry on about early bombs. You can use those for other things like say the boss or say don't bomb, bombing the donation machine. Uh, if you need to, of course, Robo baby 1.0 is very good as well. Uh, him having the in infinite range of the tech one shot, but on top of that also piercing is very, very strong. So you combine all that together. I'm what I'm trying to say is that we got a really good shot. This run being kind of great. If you're wondering why the notched axe did not go down at all uh, on uh, durability, because we only hit one, basically one opening. You can use the notched axe as a melee attack as well. Um, it's not necessarily, in my opinion, great for that. It can do decent damage if you have like no other option. Then sure, go for it. But primarily, what you're going to use the notched axe for is going to be getting into secret rooms. Uh, destroying tinted rocks and pots and mushrooms if you're if you're brave enough. I don't recommend using it against mushrooms because that's just a bad idea. But you can use it against bosses and stuff too. <coughs> too. Wait a minute, sir. Why is he? Oh, that's right. We have the locust of uh, locust of uh, famine. Like, why is Ragman moving so slow? There we go. So no need to use the death card here. We get a shot speed, which I was about to talk about. Shot speed uh, and uh, tears up. Yeah, I think we'll just head on down. Moving on to last week's question of the episode here. This came in from the Chains of a Thame episode. I simply asked which was your MVP of the run and lots of differing answers on this one. <clears throat> but for the majority... Uh, people people seem to really be high on on little hushy doing doing some work there which I mean he did well Hushy did did a pretty adequate job I would say um he was minimally exceptional as I would say as I just did in that episode as well and the most upvoted comment came in from Emil Kuhn who simply said Sissy! I mean yeah Sissy was the uh, Sissy's always the MVP we are we already know this this is this is not a this is not a surprise to anyone. Uh, next most upvoted comment came in from uh, Fletcher Westwood, 1377, uh, who said, a little hushy, 100% did all the work. I mean, I wouldn't say all the work. I'd say I'd, I had a little bit of a little bit of a part of it. Uh, we can go into the arcade here and possibly tap a demon judgment or just use the temperance machine for a little bit extra moolah. I do like the IV bag more than the notched axe. Basically because this will allow us to, this allows us to get into, um, yeah, we've already gotten the heart. <clears throat> this allows us to get into and out of these the cursed room for free, essentially. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to backtrack since the curse room is right here. I thought about maybe going angel deals, but I don't think that that's necessary right now. We we need to... What we need is HP. If we end up getting angel deals, great. Um, but it really depends on if we are going to actually get a... Uh, an, like, if we get a devil deal that we can take. But obviously, we're going to be very limited on HP right now. I... I am going to use a bomb to get this golden chest. I could actually go back and just get the notched axe over there in, like, one room over. But, I mean, who's got that kind of time? Not me. And the third most of a comment from last week came in from... Excuse me. Yep. Uh, came in from... Uh, I'm going to say... Ant I'm going to say... Anti Angel Dust. I think that's the. I think that's her name. Anti... Ain't I, I can't... I cannot say this name. Anti Angel Dust 4516. So you cannot deny Tech X carried this run. I would also give much credit to the random guppy's tail uh, boss drop. Tech X gives you spectral pierce and bigger shots. So basically created a room, created the room for a Thame to go bonkers uh, for killing smaller mobs which had been pierced by Tech X. And, uh, you know, I like, I really, really dig those kind of like in depth, uh, in depth analysis. Uh, takes that sort of stuff to me like stands out like that's the those are like anti-angel dust it's, it's one of those times where it's like yeah this they were <laughs> they were legit paying attention it's not there I should know it's actually it's I'm pretty sure that the uh, secret room super secret room is here a hundred percent guaranteed regular secret room is above no it's not there where is it uh, it could be to the left of the sack room I guess this is how I should have known that it wasn't there. <clears throat> it could be here. It is. So this is kind of my um, kind of my punishment for being lazy and not going back and taking the notched axe. Lose all of our bombs for essentially nothing. No, I'm not going to take guillotine. We are, we we are not that level of desperate. Over there's a bunch of red hearts in here, and we get some red heart upgrades. There's not. Ooh, but Baby Bender plus Robo Baby. Oof. Now that is going to be a feat right there. I don't know why lately Widow just seems to always get, like, sneak one little slide hit in. You get some more bombs, thankfully. Um, Matt, to my... In, in my mind, Matchstick is 100% banned at this point. We get Abadabba Ding Dong or Guppy's, Guppy's Eye. We got to go Abaddon here. We need movement speed. We need damage. Abaddon gives us all that. And obviously, we cannot take uh, Guppy's Eye. So, yeah, very good. Uh, now, unfortunately, the the kind of kind of turd in the punch bowl right, that we've given ourselves right now is that we cannot use the IV bag to get into the curse room. Um, so it's a little bit sad face, but it's not a huge deal. Oh baby, look at this! Get bird's eye. So this is a just a, a phenomenal start here. Abaddon gives us some some more damage that we can use with a cricket's head multiplier. We have ourselves some movement speed here. Um, we get the fear shot, which, eh, I mean, you know how I feel about fear shots. Now we have bird's eye, which is just going to, oh, wow. This is the regular secret room. Excuse me. Pardon me. We have another sack room here, which we cannot play, unfortunately. The year of the sacrifice room, man, I'm telling you. I have to stop tricking myself and thinking that Robo Baby 1.0 is, is doing as much or more damage as we are. There you see there the spectral and piercing shots of Robo Baby combined with the spoon bender effect thanks to baby benders doing some work here. We get some more bombs. Okay, Super Seeker Room's here, 100% guaranteed. Some attack spiders. Still have enough keys to go in here. We're going to take Hive Mind and also take another soul heart so hive mind is going to be pretty good if we end up do getting guppy or something that gives us some kind of flies or spiders we find another random crawl space too wow 
It's Jawbone. Jawbone. I mean, I guess. Jawbone is just kind of one of those things where it's like, eh, if you can grab something useful, go for it. It does deal damage, of course, but not enough to really be significant, in my opinion. Drop a dunk on a Fallen there, and yeah, I do not want too spooky. Like, the thing is, is that we already have fear for Abaddon, and we don't need another fear for our control effect. Like, some people really like Too Spooky, and some this is this is one of those times where people are like, it has no downside. What are you talking about? You crazy. You dumb. No, I, I don't think so, Cletus. I'm pretty sure that the downside is the fact that fear makes enemies erratic, and being unpredictable in Isaac is the last thing that you want enemies to be. You want to be able to know exactly where they're going to be moving to the as, as accurately as possible. Um, the crowd control effect, it is nice separating those, like, like the floor lickers or, like, the globins. It is nice, admittedly, but we can just kill them. <laughs> we could just, with our damage, especially now, we can just destroy them and not have to worry about them just, you know, taking off in different directions. I don't know if that bomb actually hit there. It should have. Oh, there's just nothing there. That always, that always, like... That always kind of gets me when when people in the comments are like, "There's no, there's literally no downside. Why are you not taking this?" Burr, 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 burr. Well, there's a reason I don't take most things. Um, no, we don't. We we don't give up, baby bender. No way. Um, you know, are are there some things that I'm just biased against in terms of like, you know, just items I just don't like, like say the uh, broken modem. That's the one that comes up a lot. So that's, that's a big point of contention for people. Um, and you know, there may not be anything that you think is wrong with it, but I personally don't like it. Um, you know, what, are, what are some other common pills or obviously another one, but I, I'm not even getting into the pill discussion. I have a hard stance on pills. And honestly, like fortune cookie, fortune cookies done. Like we had a run over the weekend last week. And it was just, I, like, I gave it a chance. I was like, all right, I got to give fortune cookie a chance. And fortune cookie used to be like the bread and, and butter of our runs. And now fortune cookie is just done. Unless if I just have absolutely nothing else to take. And I mean, nothing it's, it's, it's literally better than nothing, but that's about the only thing it's better at. I would rather have notched ax, honestly, like seriously, honestly. And there's, there's just some items I just don't, I just straight up just don't like. But that's how it is for everybody. I mean, I'm sure everyone, everyone out there has items that you really dig and other people are like, oh, that's just dumb. Uh, yeah. Anima Sola, you know, IV bag is fantastic, but Anima Sola is just on a different level. IV bag does not affect how we're going to play. It can't lock down bosses and Anima Sola being one of the most annoying up unlocks to get in the game, but is so, so good. Oh, thank you. Okay. Never mind. Anima Soul is banned forever. It's blacklisted. I hate it, and I'm never going to take it again. Pentagram. You can't. There's that's a that's a zero zero percent chance. My hair, just to give you our weekly hair checkup, check-in. I thought that that was going to grab that grub. Um, my hair has gotten to the point now where I actually legit have to wear headbands to keep the hair out of my eyes when I'm recording or streaming. And uh, I don't know how I feel about it. I Like, I look... I look like... I don't even, I, I can't even describe what I look like. I look weird. I look very weird. I look like, I look like my mom when she was, I look like mom and Victor when she was younger and she would go out for a jog, except I have a big beard. That's, that's, that's the best, most accurate way I can describe what my being looks like right now. We were, we were due for a greed fight, but as you see here, Anima Soul is going to lock that down.
feel like Curse of the Unknown has been a real thorn in our thorn in our side for quite a while now. These last couple of runs, we're, going, we're not going to let him get away. We don't want we don't want him to leap along with the uh, with the pins or the uh, needles jumping out. We might as well go fight the boss since we're here. But we are moving through this run. Now, obviously, I wish that we would we had taken the nine volt. Get shot speed, which is fine. I'd prefer to get some red hearts, though, so we can get a devil deal. Not that we got one anyway in this one. Um, yeah, it, it's it's a weird... For me, it's a weird sensation of, like, needing something to hold up my hair because my hair is always short. That's how I prefer it. That's how I like it. But, I mean, every every day, I'm, I'm surprised at how many... How many people who, uh, like, well, you, know, you got great hair. You got real, like, silky smooth hair. And I'm like, man, it's crazy. Cause, like, I don't even use product. I just use shampoo. I just use basic head and shoulders. And that is it. Definitely want to take one up here for show. Gonna drop a bomb here as well. Our last bomb, we get 10 cents, which is a fantastic trade off there. One up is going to give us an extra life. So now the, honestly, the need for some red hearts is even greater because one up will give you all of your red heart containers, unlike some other reses uh, in the game. Basically a free one. Oh, absolutely not. Look, it's been a little while. It's been a, it's been a minute since we've had a start this good. You jawbone. Hey, I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with jawbone. Like I said, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. I just. It's a it's an uninteresting item to me. Just waiting for the skull to get past that little threshold there, so we can grab that blue uh, ball banger, and we also get Virgo. The Virgo is going to give us the Virgo shield anytime we well, a chance anyway for us to get the Virgo shield every time we take damage, uh, which is a very powerful, probably the most powerful shield that you can get. Hey, there's our health upgrade. Um. And also, of course, it gives you neutral or positive pills, which is a fantastic feature of it. There's your neutral explosive diarrhea right there, which is fun. You can ever a card from a random skull. Yo, we are truly blessed on this day. All right. We're actually going to make boss rush. It's a miracle. And curse the blind. Woo! Gotta love it. As if right on cue. Right on cue. I'll take the negative because we've been going we've been going blue baby for a while now. And, uh, yeah, that's steps two right there. I tell you what. And Curse of the XL. Woo-wee. Now we're talking game. Get a movement speed upgrade here. Yeah, that's about the that's the game at, at its trolliest right there. Not only did we get Curse of Blind on our boss rush level, uh, then we get Curse of the XL with the boss rush follow up Curse of Blind. So that's neat. Again, need evidence that the game. Listens to you on the microphone. Is a, it is a confirmed conspiracy? Another movement speed. I would have preferred HP at this point. You see here, we use Anima Soul. We don't even give her the chance to spawn the eye lasers. If you're fast enough, you can only do that if you use it right at the very beginning of this fight.
Look at that bird's eye absolutely destroying mom. No devil deal, not that I would have taken it anyway. Again, there's gonna be some people who are like, why did you skip the entire depths? You don't know what you could you could have gotten something bigger. Something better. You got no right to complain if you if you skip an entire floor. Shut up. <laughs> Look, the game accomplished exactly what it wanted to. All right. Gave us Curse of Blind on our boss rush, especially after I, with great elation, was very happy to say we finally make boss rush. Now, could we have taken boss rush? Sure, we could have. But I'm not going to give the game a satisfaction of knowing that it got one over on us. You know what? I'd rather use my Emperor card that's very, very, very valuable. And give the middle finger to the game right after it gave us the middle finger. Giant health up here. Huge, huge, huge health up with that horse pill. Obviously, obviously, because you're not me, don't do that. Don't just begrudgingly skip an entire floor. I mean, Cletus technically is right. I will say Cletus is right. Don't skip an entire floor just because you're salty about getting cursed the blind or something like that. That's a, that's a bad winning combination. We were about to get hit right there. Ooh. We can get the skull, I think. Yeah. Drowsy. Another health up. Man, these health up pills are clutch. Speed up almost maximizes our uh, almost maximizes our movement speed. I swore that I used uh, Anima Soul a lot sooner than that. It's almost like Isaac just didn't. He did the animation, but didn't use it. Now I really need some red hearts. I want to immobilize one of the Fallens, and then the piercing shots and take out the other Fallen. Hey, uh, Satan, you're shooting into fire there. That, uh, the fire should have taken out those shots. Now, the thing about Anima Sola and the feet is that it does, it does cause some silliness when it comes to Stanley's feet. You saw right there that delay, that little tiny delay uh, while I was trying to dodge instinctively away from the uh, from the um, the bomb lamprey fly. Damocles is literally useless here. We'll take Money Eagle's power. We'll take uh, some Victor Ro or not some, yeah, some Victor Robes. We'll schmoove there by that spider. Luckily, we had Robo Baby help us out. Robo Baby, honestly, is doing work. Ironically, the only thing I actually wanted to grab that was a great deflection by uh, by Jawbone there. No, you're not going anywhere, War. Anima Sola just, it just absolutely diggity dunks anything that it grabs on. But you got to have the DPS though. And even if you don't have the DPS, it's still great to just lock down a boss to make sure they like, they can do literally nothing to you. Death is just spawning like double waves of size. What the heck was that? I gotta say, Robo Baby here, like starting with Cricket's head was obviously like a pretty huge thing. But I gotta say, Robo Baby Baby Bender is like crushing it for us. So some people probably would have never thought that like to even use this combo, but it absolutely is worth it.
No, no, you can you can keep holding that bomb. Yeah, why not? Oh my god! <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. I think uh, think that'll do. That'll do. I mean, if we're gonna take a dead end, that's uh, that's a nice one to get. So now we're just doing, you know, 44 damage per shot. We probably don't even need Anima Soul at this point. <laughs> we get super bandage too. My goodness. See, this is this is the this is the game yielding. It's had enough. It just wants me to end this run and move on move along. We're gonna make it hurt. We're gonna make it sting. This is payback for that curse of the blind on our boss rush game. This is, that is the one downside to Polyphemus here is that it destroys our tears rate. We didn't really have a good tears rate to begin with, but the amount of damage that we're doing now with Tech X and Cricket's Head and also now Polyphemus, plus all the other damage upgrades we've gotten on this run. You know, when we talk about damage being paramount, whenever you, whenever, even if you have a decent tears rate, <coughs> it's just, it's just worth it. Damn it, damage as a stat on the whole is just is just too good. And just makes for an all around easier time. I don't think that's a, any high level commentary there as a as a revelation, but but the brimstone here. Stop that attack. Down goes Lamb. Yeah, we do. We haven't done a victory lap in a little bit. That was a relatively short run. We'll do one. It's Tuesday. Come on. See if we can get anything crazier here for those tiers rate. Second run of the day, or second seat, I should say, of the day. Uh, one mic, eight echo, uh, X CAC. So here's the hoping that we get a uh, we get some kind of tears upgrade here. A little bonus round. We get Midas Touch, which is going to give us the Golden Touch. And yeah, I want to take both of these, especially Mom's Purse, because that allows us to keep uh, Baby Bender here. Not have to get rid of it for Robo Baby. The Tin Rock up there. There's a tinted rock in my boot. The rock in full HP, looking great. Now, of course, the Virgo effect, it does indeed stay with you through the victory laps, just like H uh, PhD, full health. Fair modes. I want to take the Hermit card so we can skip straight to the store. And as always on a victory lap, Start off with Fallen here. Oh, there. I didn't even see you doing that. Oh, we do not want Blood Oath. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, we could probably go in the Curse Room and then use the uh, use the Hermit card. Definitely don't want Cursed Eye. Yeah, We'll take, I mean, I guess we'll take Silver Dollar for now. Not really a whole lot better that we could do. It really makes you wonder, like, what would have happened had we decided to go for the Guppy's Eye, Guppy's Tail route on, on lap number one. This Lover's Card. With this, I mean, there was no way that we were going to get, like, we didn't see another Guppy item, so obviously we weren't going to get Guppy. Um... Now, I obviously wish I would have taken Damocles, but I honestly didn't think that I was going to be going for a uh, victory lap either. Then I looked at the I looked at the timer. I was like, oh, there. Uh, turn on D-Sizzle.
Slugger hat. Yeah, the Eternal D6. Not really my cup of tea. I think everyone knows about that. Um, Anima Sola is just too good. Even though we don't really technically need Anima Sola anymore, it's still like it still locks down bosses, keeps you safe. Not that not that we're in any danger at this point. Our damage is just simply far too high. Far, far, far too high. Yeah, we will take Glass Eye here, which can give us even more damage. I can't. I, I I cannot do that to Robo Baby. Robo Baby literally has carried us. And let's go Alt Path. It's again been a while since we've been on Alt Path. I think that I think that Alt Path is um, in certain situations. You know, just a if we're if we're especially if we're super powerful right now, um, like we are. Yeah, there's the there's the mirror. In certain situations, I don't mind going Alt Path, but obviously it's another common question. People ask me, like, you know, hey, how come you ain't going Alt Path? Well, there's not really a reason to, is there? Hang on a second, buddy. You got that extra blind item. You can get an extra item and an extra boss. Yeah, and? So you, so it's... What you're saying is that going through the entire the entirety of Alt Path for one extra blind item in the item room and then extra bosses is, is worth making the making the difficult the difficulty increase and the danger increase as well to me that's not worth it it's been a very it's been a, obviously over the years it's been a very hot take on on skipping alt path um but you know it's just it's not my jam if you want to play alt path then you go play alt path i will happily not but as i was saying in certain situations, I think that alt path can be, can be a nice little side, nice little side trip every now and then. So we still have Anima Sola and a one up. So and uh, Costomas already dead. We get a damage upgrade. Nice. Guess we can go in the curse room and see what's in here. Absolutely nothing. There we go. I could use the Alger's rune to get out, but meh. now we've essentially given ourselves mapping for the rest of this floor, which is great. Definitely going to go Evil Eye here, although I think Evil Eye will only shoot regular tears when it procs. And uh, yeah, we'll get that Soul Heart back. Reverse Lover's card. Now hang on a second. Hang on a. Uh bloody second uh well we need to use we need to save our bomb so let's let's search for a more obvious secret room on the next floor again requiring zero effort from us we get tears up finally i'll happily take that um i don't really care about silver dollar and yeah, we don't really need this. I could use a lover's card in here, but obviously we're going to be going for secret room pool. This is the only time where like I wouldn't mind seeing a curse of the XL on uh, in the mines. Another thing to think about, you don't actually have to go into the mines one if you don't want to. Um, just make sure you have enough bombs for, for getting down in the mines two. Oh yeah. I don't know why there would be a gap there unless unless the secret room is guaranteed to be north of this next room to the right. It's not. Weird. That's a very weird room. See, Anima Sola, Anima Sola sometimes gets a little, a little corn, corn fused. There we go. Another movement speed upgrade in the pill. No devil deal. 
Another explosive diarrhea. Oh, I'm, I'm fine with just going to the next floor. We don't have enough money to get the shop. Plus, it's all path, so. It's not like I'm going to take the blind item. Although, we did have that as a like street goal. Uh, if everyone remembers the legendary alt path week. Which turned like it turned out like very good. Like it was a very successful uh, themed week, and you know some people definitely recognize the reason why you know all path kind of sucks, unless you're doing achievements. But other other people, including myself, you know the potential for the blind item is there. But my argument at the end of the day was, yes, you do get an extra blind item in alt path. However, that's not really that much difference than just having all blind items and nothing else. You know, like, it, yeah, yeah, it could be anything. Blind item or not, it could be anything. Just perfection. Not sure how that hit, that one hit us, but I guess it clipped the side of Isaac's hair. Speed up. Might as well, we might as well, uh, oh, never mind. We haven't, I thought we found the third button. Let's put it this way, like just because we got we got a few runs that had pretty good blind items in alt path does not mean that, that the ends don't justify the means there. Like I, I, in my mind, it still does not make it worth it. Monsoon's Revenge. There's that sweet, sweet revenge. We're looking for the for the secret room here. Compass, which is going to help us out a lot. Oh, wait, we've already gone to the secret room. What am I talking about? All right, so the, the lover's card is going to take one of our red heart containers, and we get a, uh, we get a, essentially we get an item that, that comes from this item pool that we use it in. So that was pretty worth it. I don't know why the Book of Secrets is in the secret room pool, but here we are. Now, let's go get the key really quickly, or the knife piece, I mean. Screw. This is what our base stats were. Um, this is not with uh, Cricket's, Cricket's head in the equation. So our base stat damage by itself was 4.49, which is pretty good. Actually phenomenal starting damage. This layout doesn't seem to be too bad. Now the the danger here is not is not mother, <coughs> it's the uh, fires. There's no time limit for this part, so you just take patience is the key here for this. But the demon fires shooting at you are the most annoying things, and the things that are most likely going to hit you. her to one side and we go up to the other I had to retreat back to that little lip there because there was nowhere safe for me to from that direction there's no more safe to really dodge Patience is key. You're in no hurry at this part. This room, this room's kind of nasty. Not because there's a bunch of poop in it, but just because like the starting and stopping nature and having to clear out the poop piles is annoying. We're gonna send her north, and then we're gonna make a sprint down. There we go. 
Give her a little present on the way out. Uh, that soul heart was over spike rocks, I believe. What on earth is this room? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Brimstone bombs, booster pack. Yeah, another fantastic uh, item for us. Justice. Let's see here. Well, first, let's go see what's inside of the devil deal. Or damage. Uh, we do have hive mind, so we get Leviathan as well, which is nice. Now we can go back and go take that. Uh, we can go take that um, soul heart in the other room. The range upgrade. That's just super duper awesome. Really great. Out for Penny, yeah. We're gonna need that with uh, money equals power. I mean, we're d we don't need anything. Let's not let's not get it twisted here. We don't need anything. But as I always say, went ahead, get more ahead, and uh, that's exactly what we're doing right here. But remember, we do have the two of clubs. Or the uh, two of clubs, two of diamonds. Ace of Use Ace of Diamonds there just to convert stuff. There we go. I'm going to probably hold the two of diamonds. I don't really want to check to see what's in the curse room at this point. But we can use the two of diamonds in a weird, in this weird sort of, I guess it's not that weird, but in this roundabout way, we can use it as a damage booster because it essentially just, you know, it doubles the amount of, uh, doubles the amount of, of damage that we're going to get at our current rate from money equals power. Yeah, 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 here we go, baby. Hey, there's a chest in here? Oh, can we see it? The magician card, which, meh. Oh, not what I wanted to grab, but I'm gonna play it there. Blood Bombs is gonna give us an HP upgrade. So, if we really wanted to, we could play the sack room. Another HP upgrade here. I don't what the point of this... Oh, it's to get the chest if you don't have flying. Got it. There we go. Use the two of diamonds just because I don't want to forget to use it. Our soul heart back here. Also get the tower card. I guess I could have used against the boss because we just we just picked up brimstone bombs. Another HP upgrade. Okay. Uh, we could use, I mean, we, if we really wanted to, we could use the satanic Bible. But honestly, I mean, anima soul is just, it's just, it's that item. It's just that good. We don't need to use, um, we don't need to use the satanic Bible because we're not, even if we lose HP to some BS damage or stuff, you know, it's not going to matter. Anima Sola, we can use more than once. It's like, yeah, with the Bible, for example, you do get, you get the pleasure of, of beating mom in one go and mom's heart, but then you can't reuse it over and over again. You know, and you wouldn't want to, unless you were fighting mom. 
Whereas Anima Sola, we don't have to worry about that because, like, Anima Sola just recharges. Now, I'm hoping that we find the 9 volt. That would be nice. Nice little quality of life upgrade. Unfortunately, it's not going to do it for us. I'm still stoked that we're over six bucks again in our donation machine. That, like, honestly, that felt like a real accomplishment. Like, being able to go from, like, zero, from the accidental reset of our donation machine, back up to six dollars. I don't remember. I don't want, I don't want, well, I guess it doesn't matter if we have conjoined. Our damage is still high enough. Um, Earth Rune. What's going on here? Um, yeah, that, that felt like a real accomplishment for us, being able to do that in a relatively short amount of time. I feel like we did that in, like, what, like a month and a half, maybe? Chocolate milk isn't really going to do anything for us here. This will this will start boss rush. I don't want to take it. Use the Perthrow rune. Yeah. See, like for here, we would have to go through boss rush just to recharge the Bible, whereas Anima Sola basically did the almost the exact same thing and we didn't have to charge it. It recharges by itself. So that's the logic there. Unfortunately, we didn't get a we didn't get the 9 volt, but that's okay. I think we'll be okay without the 9 volt. Our our anima soul will just have to be exceptional. Oh no. Bro, you do not have that much HP. I don't care. I don't care how big you are. We go one more to the left here. I'm actually surprised it's still going. Wow, yeah, this is the right way. Well, I'll be Gul'dan. I could have just like flown up the middle and gone over the rocks, but who's got that kind of time? Yeah, Rotgut um, didn't get a single attack off. As soon as as soon as Montezuma's hits, yeah, it's instant death. Get another HP upgrade, and yeah. So we're going to absolutely smoke this run in a uh, very, very fun, powerful run. And, you know, it's it's got to be asked, who's the, who's the MVP? You know, I think that when it's all said and done, I think the easy... I think the easy answer is going to be Cricket's Head for giving us that damage upgrade for the start, allowing every room to be easy. However, however, I will, I will put my vote in for, for Robo Baby. Robo Baby plus Baby Bender, I think was the standout here. You wouldn't think about that. You wouldn't think that with like, you know, a, uh, a way of doing or a way of seeing like when you look at this you'd be like oh yeah tech x tech x monsoon's revenge high damage yada 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 but in this case i do feel like robo baby plus baby bender really took it over the the edge for us It took three or four, three or four Montezumas, and that was it. As you see here, once you, and this is a great, a great demonstration of the Anima Sola synergy. Here, we don't have to even reset or move our position from Anima Sola, because all we have to do, if we are, how? Excuse me. Game. You know she was frozen, right? So, like, if we get ourselves in, like, for example, like, pretend the chest is a boss and we've used Anima Soul on it. We can set our Montezuma's beam like this. 
and we don't even have to worry about moving while animus soul is off or they're frozen or stunned or whatever we just continually fire over and over again the combined damage of montezuma's plus tech x is just mm. what a run thank you for watching everyone happy tuesday again your question of the episode is going to be who is your mvp I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what people come up, up with for this one this is going to be this is going to be something so i appreciate all the support everyone have a great start to your tuesday as always i'll see you all next time until then this is what i am so long everybody a thanks for watching this video i'd like to thank some patrons of mine like ctop18 steve with a lisp and pokey stick i'd like to have your name read at the end of an isaac episode check out my patreon campaign which you can find over at patreon.com last invicta